southeastern major county in Power's off again. Blaine County in northwest Oklahoma. Kingfisher County in central Oklahoma. Extreme Got southern my laptop county on. in northern Oklahoma. Extreme southwestern Noble County in northern Oklahoma. Logan County in central Oklahoma. I'm still trying to cook up some bacon. But I have my uh, cell phone to power my laptop for internet until the laptop dies. And actually, I might have a chance to try out the old, I uh, can't, can't see it in the dark, but uh, try out my little uh, red radio that has the crank to power things with. Nowadays, we got Google flashlights on our cell phones, and I've actually kept every cell phone just about I've ever had, unless it <clears throat> unless it uh, breaks and I have to send it back in to get a new one. So I have three smartphones sitting on my table right now, besides the one that I use, and I try to keep them charged. I have different applications on them that I can use. The thing about these smartphones is, with any Wi-Fi signal, you can use them as a regular phone uh, even to make phone calls if you have Skype on them so you know with my cell phone I can turn it into I can turn it into a hotspot and my laptop will pick it up for internet my other smartphones I'm right here my right, three, three I got an Droid Incredible uh, Revolution and another Droid Incredible. They all uh, they all work. Just sometimes it was due for upgrades. And um, I've been with Verizon Wireless for 15 years or so, so it doesn't matter to me if I do a two-year upgrade because I'll I plan to be with them forever. So, but uh, you know when the power goes out, I got all all three of those have flashlight options. And of course, I got my red radio for the flashlight option, and uh, got to break out the Coleman lantern behind me and use that for a flashlight. And I've got my uh, X Pal that I've blogged about. This little guy here, with the touch of a button. You can see how many bars it has, fully charged. With this guy, I can charge my cell phone back up twice. So, usually I'll leave stuff plugged in, like when I go to work, um, I'll plug my stuff in in the back office somewhere and I'll be, I'll let it charge up and I'll rotate what I charge. So, uh, I try to keep all that kind of stuff backed up, but my bacon's still trying to cook. Lost power again. Trying to cook my bacon. What was that? Why is my camera making that noise? Hey, here we go. Still trying to cook the last of the bacon. When I was a kid, my mom used to make me bacon sandwiches. She just get some white bread, load a bunch of bacon on it, and cover it in uh, mayonnaise. And I used to take that to lunch with me at school. Talk about some good eats.
Floating on that stupid storm. That may cause small tree flooding in the advisory area. Up to four inches of rain has fallen in the past hour. Some locations that will experience minor flooding include Elba, Cherokee, Medford. Going right over me now. Mont Creek, the Mont, Helena, Lakina, Carmen, Freedom, Goldtree, Crown, and Oval Park. Okay, so we got uh, nickel size hail now. Arcadia and Marshall. Being reported. And just to show you, I wondered what I'd do out here to know. You think, well, what, how would you know if you had a storm when you were sleeping? And um, I did a post on it not too long ago. But just to show you, um, on my phone, let me turn this around. I have an app showing in the top left here. That's a thunderstorm. It's actually an American Red Cross application. And if I go to it, right there it says tornado, severe thunderstorm warning issued. If I click on that, it shows me the warnings. Severe thunderstorm warning issued July 30th, blah, blah, blah. And you can click on it, and it gives you more information, tells you who all's involved, and until what time. But this, uh, <clears throat> what I like about this application is it will, if it's, a, if it's a thunderstorm, I mean, if it's a tornado, it will actually set off the siren, the tornado siren. Uh, on your cell phone so as long as you don't have your phone on vibrate or silence um, that will wake you up trust me you hear that and you're not going to sleep through it if you do while well, you're in trouble but so I'm not worried about something happening while I'm sleeping because that that application and I have it on two phones um, will set off a tornado siren if there's a tornado in the area, and I haven't, I haven't verified it, but some of the locals have told me that we're past tornado season now. That tornado season is uh, April, May, June, I guess, and so we're almost to August. But I'm not gonna just assume it'll never happen. I'm sure it has before. So just sharing that app with you on how to, you know, be prepared. Um, I've shown you my backup batteries and my backup phones, my ham radio, my uh, propane lantern, and um, the app that I use to be, be aware of the storm. So, hope it helps somebody out. See you later. Thank you.